Costco. First rule of travel, always have coffee. Even if it means you save it from the night before. Quanto Uh Seven soles. Okay, six. Perfect. Hey. Not gonna lie, I got nervous for a second. We came up to the train station, which is also the bus station. The doors were totally closed and it said hours of operation, 7 a.m. You just gotta push, you know? We're waiting to board over here because right now no trains go all the way through this time of year. So we're just gonna take this bus um, from here. Then we're gonna board the visit dome. I love hanging out in bus stations at four in the morning. It's so fun. That was incredible, the best train ride I've ever had. Beautiful views, 
beautiful people like it was so awesome to listen to the music and see the dancers and now we are here i cannot believe it after four years of wanting to go together we finally made it we are just outside machu picchu and i could not be more thrilled i'm on a high <laughs> i just can't even explain how i'm feeling right now it's so surreal what a view oh my gosh it's so cool holy moly wow Time to eat. All by ourselves. I mean, for, for the most part. I think the train routes, if I'm not mistaken, were cut down by 10, 10 times, maybe seven times. Just And so it's like, we have this, this beautiful town built exclusively for Machu Picchu. And we are the only ones, it seems, staying in our hotel. Here we are at a restaurant called Full House and we feel like it's probably two in the afternoon but it's actually only 10 a.m. <laughs> what a full day so far. We've so enjoyed every bit of it and even waking up early. There's something that I've always loved when you're traveling about waking up early because you know you're going somewhere new or somewhere special. So it is really fun. That was just an incredible train ride. We had just the most phenomenal, it was Peru Rail and uh, Francisco uh, helped us. We got on the bus with him uh, to Ali, and then uh, from Ali, we took the train, the Vista Dome, and that was just phenomenal. Honestly, there's a few few moments and travel moments where you're like, okay, I feel like I'm in a really special moment and I need to pay attention. And that's what I felt. It was just really, really beautiful. And we're in it right now. We've been, looking forward to this time for so long. It's like I've seen it all, but I haven't, because we've, we've looked at so many hotels and so many things to do. Hey, let me uh, put my Pisco Sour down here. On this side of the rock face, you follow it along, and you can hike right up to Machu Picchu. It's right at the corner, right over there. This. Chicken quinoa, quail eggs. After going to 20, no less than 20 shops, what did we find here? Okay, so I'm like, we could only bring 10 kilos on Peru rail, 10 kilos per person. We're here for more than one day. 10 kilos is not a lot. We have a 50 pound bag at the hotel in Cusco. And so I'm like, we gotta, we gotta bring absolute centrals. We can't bring anything extra. And then I'm like, okay, we're trying to find almond milk because we, we drink almond milk lattes. Going around all the grocery stores. Um, Tienes leche de almendras, uh, leche de coco, soya. And I said, you know what? There's going to be somebody that owns a grocery store and their kid drinks an alternative milk source, right? Like almond milk. And it wasn't a grocery store. It was a restaurant and we found her. And so she's like, I got plenty of oat milk. <laughs> so we're, we know where we're going. So it's really exciting. This place is just epic. That's where the... There's something up there. Universal sign for don't go this way. Like, look at this. Such amazing, beautiful garden. It's like, there's mountains everywhere. We just feel so nestled into, like, nestled into this cute area. It's like, I, I don't have words. So the town is this way. And Machu Picchu is this way. It's huge! The mosquitoes like me. I gotta go put some bug spray on. We walked 20 minutes, 
to the base of where you can either take the bus up. The bus is from the uh, town of Machu Picchu, um, but they go right here, or you can actually hike up. So there's a pedestrian only version. You could do the zigzag all the way up, or you can do the straight shot. There's a straight shot trail, and he said it takes 45 minutes, but we're gonna take the bus tomorrow and uh, that way we're not exhausted when we get up there. But you can actually see parts of Machu Picchu from here. So up there uh, is some ruins. A rainforest with ruins from a lost city. That's where we're at. Welcome to Machu Picchu. And here's our hotel. Here's our hotel. This is where the waterfall is. Closed. That one's closed. Those two are closed. One's open right here. Fried chicken, fried potatoes. 